Hi everyone. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've done a, a video. Um, a lot's been going on. As you know, my husband had cancer and uh, we are happy to announce that he no, is no longer, um, no longer has cancer. He's cancer free. So we're very excited about that. And it was a long haul though, difficult haul as, as you may know if you've had anybody that's had cancer. But uh, um, it's all it's all good now so we're very happy about that anyway um, I wanted to share today uh, a project that I did um, it's a junk journal and I, I'm in a group over on Facebook called junk journal junkies and it's a great little group it's lots of fun if you like to do junk journals or journals, I guess if you just do journals, but it is junk journals, um, the group is, um, go check them out because, um, and if you like to do swaps, because they do a lot of swaps and they have lots of information, they share a lot of stuff, and it's just a really fun group, so I suggest um, checking them out if you like to do that kind of thing. And um, the swap that I joined was Use Your Stash Swap. So in other words, we could not go out and buy anything for this journal. We had to use what was in our stash, which for me, that's a challenge because I'm really bad about wanting to go out and buy something when I'm doing a project. I'm really bad at it. I'll go out and buy something new just about every time when I'm doing something. That's bad. It's really bad. So anyway, this is what I made. Um, this is a napkin that I put on here. Well, first of all, the way I made it was, this is a cereal box, and I cut it down to, I believe it's five by seven. Yeah, pretty sure it's five by seven. And um, I used that real stiff uh, brown wrapping paper, and I crinkled it up several times, and then I put it on here with um, a Mod Podge. Now I let it dry, and then I put paint on here, and then I wiped the paint off, and it gave it a real distressed look. And then some of the paint stayed in the cracks, so you've got this dark paint in the cracks, and then wiped off paint, which gave it a lighter color. You'll probably see it better on the back. See where the dark and the light is? And I really like that. I was going to go with a different technique, actually, but when I wiped it off, um, because I didn't like the color when I first started out and I wiped it off because I was going to try to put a different color on and when I did I just loved the look and I thought oh I'm going with that technique so that's what I wound up going with and I just love it I think it turned out really pretty and I like the wrinkles and everything and then to further just give it a distressed look I took some white paint on my finger and just went around the edges I like that and it really made the purple pop um, so I think it turned out pretty. And then on the side, I hope you can see that, I did some beads and a little blue bow. Did I say that she likes purple and blue? That's what she told me she liked was purple and blue. And that's all she gave me. She, she didn't have a style like shabby chic or anything like that. She just liked purple and blue. So that's what I went with. And this is a napkin. And I pasted that on there and put several coats of um, matte medium over here. And I apologize for my dirty fingers. I've been inking, and I'll show you what I've been inking when I'm done with showing you this. Um, I put a couple of pearls right here. And then this is a closure that I got the idea from Jen of Eve Designs on uh, YouTube. And it's one of the Tim Holtz, <coughs> excuse me, class on a chain attached to an eyelet and then on a chain and then from the, the the clasp from the clasp dangles a couple of beads and I just love it I think it's really cute and then you just clip it on there like that I think it's cute so anyway on the inside I'll turn it around should have turned it around anyway so you could see it this is the first page. There's designer paper in here. There's three signatures. I think there's like 10 pages per signature. Uh, 
Each signature begins with a tab. So that's one. This is a little mini um, file folder that I made. And I can't decide if I want to put a little piece of Velcro there to, to hold it closed or not. So I'm undecided about that. I made a little pocket here for a tuck spot. This is some craft paper. This is a coin envelope, and I didn't put the little closures on here because I didn't have any brads, for one thing. So I couldn't go out and buy any. If I could have went out and bought some, I sure would have done it. But there I was, stuck with no brads to make the little closures, and it's killing me. It's killing me that I can't go out and buy any. And here's a time card. Here's a little tiny envelope, and it's got some little, little tags, things in it. I just love these tiny little envelopes, and I made that. I didn't buy it. I made it. This paper right here is Kool-Aid dyed, and I got that off of one of the junk journal junkies, uh, someone off of junk journal junkies. They Kool-Aid dyed a bunch, um, and it smells so good. It just makes the book smell awesome, so I love doing that. This is a little fold out. This is a piece of mixed media paper. Oops, I'm bending it. So you can paint on this or whatever you want to do. Another piece of designer paper. Here's a paper bag. And inside of this, I made a pocket. I glued down the edges right here and here. And I put a little piece of notebook in there. A little beetle bug. Made a pocket. Here's some coffee dyed paper that I distressed. Here's another fold out, designer paper, and here's an envelope. Now when you see an envelope, you'll know that this is the middle of my signature. And when I put an envelope in the middle of my signature, what I'm doing is I'm hiding my stitches. And I put the envelope in, and this is not sealed. The, this, the envelope is open. And I sew my signature in, and my stitches are on the inside, and then I close the envelope up, and I seal it here and here. And then you can't see the, the stitches, and you can still use the envelope. So I've got a couple of tags in there. So I like doing that. There's another fold out. Coffee dyed paper. Here's the other side of my bag with a couple of tags with ribbons on, blue and purple. Some purple paper. This is a uh, waterfall card uh, photo thing. You know those little two by two photos everybody's printing off of Instagram? Well, that's what this is for. Just so you can put those little two by two photos or four by four photos, whatever that is they're printing. Another fold out, some more Kool-Aid paper, time card, craft paper, designer paper. This page here is from Secret Garden, but I put the beads on here. I'm sorry, my fingers are so awful. I should have washed them before I did this video. I love the beads on here. I just think they're so pretty, and it's just something neat to do in a junk journal. This bag here, I made myself. I took a piece of designer paper, took it to my printer, printed it off on some printer paper, and then I made this bag because it's thin enough. It's just, it's just like a, a bag would be. And I put this uh, card in here. But it's, it's so pretty. And then I didn't have to use my designer paper, which is really too thick for this sort of thing. And, you know, I didn't have to use up my designer paper. I can, it's an additional way to use up your, you know, designer paper over and over again. You can print it off and use it that way several times as well. So before I actually use this paper, I will print it off on my printer several times. So I'll have several sheets of it to use over and over again. More coffee paper and a new signature. Matte paper. Here's a tuck spot and a die cut that I cut out. And 
more Kool-Aid paper and a doily that I crocheted and some little buttons. I hope I'm not out of frame. And here's a paper clip. Can you see that? It's got little beads on it. You take about two or three lengths of chain and put it on your paper clip and add just some little tiny beads or maybe one kind of a medium sized bead and then two or three little ones. And it just makes a pretty little paper clip to put on your book. Here's a pocket page, some journal uh, paper. Here's a pocket page that I did with some lace. This is plastic lace. I don't know where I got that. I think I got it at a yard sale. Pretty sure I got that at a yard sale. This is Whopper paper. I got a Whopper one day at Burger King and I took the paper off immediately. Checked it out real good. It had nothing on it. I was so tickled because I wanted to use it in the junk journal. So, it's clean. It's clean. <laughs> Here's the middle of my signature, because there's an envelope. There's a tag in there, or a piece of paper. Just a piece of paper. And, uh, here's another little tuck spot at the top. And two little tags. Journal paper. Here's another tuck spot under two little banners. Here's a little cutout I did. Some more Kool-Aid paper. Another tuck spot, matte paper, coffee dyed paper. There's the other side of my paper bag with a, a tag that's got um, some lace for a ribbon. Here's a cutout, a tag with the cutout for a tuck spot, feather, and a new signature. Here's one of these um, little fold ins. This is another pocket page, and these are, this is a game that I picked up, it's Trivia Pursuit, and they make great things to tuck into um, junk journals. They've got questions on them like, what show featured a man-eating plant called Cleopatra? How many puppies were in ladies' litter at the end of The Lady and the Tramp? Who was dubbed Zorba the Veep? I don't know who, I ain't never heard of Zorba, I don't know who the heck that is. Must be some show I didn't see. How many females joined the Fantastic Four? Anyway, just questions like that. So those are really neat and fun to tuck into a junk journal, especially one that you're going to give away. There's another cutout that I put on this page. I think this page is pretty. Some more coffee dyed paper. Designer paper, another cutout. Kool-Aid paper with a heart down here. Music paper. Designer paper. Here's a piece of designer paper, and I took my die that I've been making little tuck cutouts with, and I laid it down here, and I drew around it, and then I cut it out, and I thought that was real pretty. Here's the middle of my signature, and I'm going to put some of these things in here. A tag. Some paper. A tag. And a tuck spot. Coffee, uh, Kool-Aid paper. This is a zipper page, and it does unzip. And then behind here, you can write on it. Well, I can't keep this book still. Oops. Coffee paper. I would do that zipper page differently if I had it to do over again. Uh, I think I know how I would do it. I'm going to do another one and I'll post a video on it. But, uh, here's a little pull out. Kool-Aid paper. I wish you could smell this. It just smells so good. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and I was going to show you why my fingers are so dirty looking. Um, you know how when you burn paper, I like to make paper look old. I love the coffee dyed paper. And I like to make it look old. And so I made this. 
and I just think it turned out so cool. I just love it. And I may do a video on it. If you're interested in me doing a video on this, leave it in the comments below. And if anybody's interested, I'll do a video on it. If I don't get any comments, then I may not bother. But um, I think it turned out really pretty. You know how you burn pages and it gets this charred look on the edge and everything? I just think it turned out really good, really old looking, really distressed. I uh, used three different kinds of ink, coffee, and I got some great splatters on here. It was, it was a long process to get it, but I think it was well worth it. And I think it turned out great. This side doesn't look the same. I could, I should have turned it over and done both sides, but it took me quite a while to get this side. So, anyway, I think it's cool. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.